Oh my, whoa. That was the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. Whoa, that was crazy. So this is uh, almost exactly what it looks like. This is supposed to be the new tanks for Kaizen and Kaiju, but obviously they're huge. They're really cool, you know? I really like them, but they're just absolutely massive. So uh, they're just 20 inches tall. And I'm gonna cut it down to around like 12 inches tall, which is like, yay, which is really all they will need. But they have a lot more space to run around. This this base is gonna be great for them. I'm gonna have to pick up sand, new rock, maybe new PVC, but yeah. So unfortunately, it's gonna be a little while longer now because the guys gotta come back and cut them and everything like that, but it's the holidays now. So we're gonna have to see, we're gonna have to wait. But uh, yeah, getting the process going. What is good, Aquatics crew? I wanna start by saying Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to everybody. Hope everyone's having a great time. But today, we are going to be feeding the boys once again. Actually, at the time of making, right now, I don't know what I'm gonna be feeding them yet, but I'm sure you guys have figured it out by the title of the video. I am currently at my local fish store because I think I know what I wanna get them. And we're gonna go ahead and see if they have it in stock and see what else they have in stock too, because that's always fun. So let's do this. Also, do not forget, I go live every Tuesday and Thursday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I usually feed the boys live. It's always a good time, so come hang out. Okay, I bought this guy because I, I have an addiction and I couldn't resist him. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. I want this so bad. I want you. Come home with me. The pea puffers. Oh my gosh, look at them. I need this, I need all of these in one tank at home. All right, we're back. The bag is secured. I bought a fish because I have a problem and I can't help myself, but step number one is acknowledging it. So, you know, we're, we're gonna get there. We're getting there. But no, he's actually really cute. But that's also not the point of why I went in. That was just a little side piece. So I got distracted, but the bag is secured. I'm really excited about this one. Let's go see how this goes. So there he is. There's a little guy that I bought. A lot of bubbles going on in there, but I think he's called the Canary Rass. He's absolutely adorable. He's this bright yellow, so I think he's gonna give a nice pop to the tank. I'm gonna put him in right now. And there he is. Wow, he's actually super cool, honestly. Apparently these guys will uh, also sleep in the sand or something like that, or on the sand, something like that. So I'm pretty excited to see him do that tonight. But yeah, he's awesome. I love him. But yeah, I think I just found out that these guys don't lay on top of the sand. They dig in the sand. And it's been about 20, 30 minutes, and I can't fight them. So that was a great uh, $30, $40 I just spent. Nice. There's Kaizen finishing up his meal. He's been so weird with eating. I, I hope he's okay. He like was staring at this crab for so long until I shoved the crab in his face. Then he was like, oh, food. And here, look, just so I could show you guys what's going on with Kaizen as well. I mean, you guys know how crazy and aggressive Kaizen gets, but look at this. Look. Look at that. He's doing nothing about that crab. Let him walk away. So usually that's a sign of he's about a molt, but he also like just ate too. So it's it's very confusing. And I tried to feed him something else other than a crab. Uh, it was from the feeder tube and he was kind of going crazy. He was like excited for the feeder tube. So I'm, I'm hoping he takes after Kaiju and he just molts soon. I guess we'll see what's going on with him. I just hope he's not sick or anything like that. That would be the worst, but I mean, the water parameters are good. I don't see any fungus on his back or anything like that, which is kind of common in mantis shrimps. So, I mean, he looks fine and he's still angry, just not angry enough. Let me try one more time just for fun. That's it. That's all we're going to do. And it's like, I also don't want to take the crab out, you know, prematurely when he actually, in fact, wants the crab, you know? Hmm? You want this? You want this? I mean, what Kaizen do we know that wouldn't go for this right now? One that's about a molt. That's that's all I know. So, all right, that's it. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, we got a pistol shrimp versus Kaiju the mantis shrimp. Uh, not going to lie, pretty small pistol shrimp, but it was the only one that they had in store for me today. So that's why he's also not going up against Kaizen because Kaizen's a big boy. So I think this will be a pretty good one though for pistol shrimp versus mantis shrimp because I got the baby, baby Kaiju here. Let me give you guys a breakdown of the stats here, okay? Kaiju is bigger, faster, can see better, stronger, but he's got a gun. So I'd say that pretty much levels out the playing field. All right. Let's see how this goes. A lot of people think that the pistol shrimp can beat the mantis shrimp in a fight, but obviously I'm a bit biased, but I think the mantis shrimps definitely got this one. This pistol shrimp is kind of small, but honestly pistol shrimps only get to like two inches long anyway. And this guy's just about like one and a half inches. So, um, all right, I guess let's see. Let's see if Project Power hype these guys up too much. I got the pistol shrimp in the net right here. I think we're ready to go. Kaiju looks ready. I'm sure he's hungry. Let's do this. Okay, 
This is very hard to do by myself, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, the pistol shrimp is mad fast, not gonna lie. He's very, very fast. I just need Kaiju to notice him though. So pistol shrimps can't see very well. That's one of their negatives. That's why they always get paired with a goby, but they do have a gun. You see that big claw on him that, that shoots water out like a gun and it, it'll it'll stun anything that's trying to trying to hurt him. So uh, let's see if he's got this, but he definitely can't see as well as a mantis shrimp. This is suspenseful. Let me close the top here. We just got Kaiju lurking in the background right now. By the way, yes, this was a very expensive fight. Kaiju still hasn't noticed. Kaiju's still a bit of a rookie, too. But this guy would have been too small for Kaizen. Come on, Kaiju. Kaiju, look. Look at my hand. It's going crazy, right? It's going crazy. No? Okay. He doesn't care. I don't want to move the pistol shrimp too much. I kind of want this to play out the way it plays out, you know? Because if the pistol shrimp's running from me and then he doesn't notice Kaizen, it's, or doesn't notice Kaiju, that's, you know, kind of unfair. The reason why I haven't done this before also is because I think pistol shrimp are really cool. This is definitely a question I get constantly on the channel so figure look let's just do it let's get it over with we're all thinking about it you know all right this pistol shrimp's doing the old if i don't move maybe he won't see me trick and it's working it always works on mantis shrimps fun fact i might have to interfere been sitting here for over 10 minutes in the same spot <laughs> not gonna lie arms getting a little tired kaiju he's right there bud he is right there this is so suspenseful I really don't think he sees him. Oh, oh snap. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, whoa! That was the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. He was snapping too, he was, he was snapping. Oh my gosh, he tracked him down like that. Whoa, that was crazy. New respect gained for Kaiju. Kaiju is an animal. Kaiju is an absolute monster. There's absolutely no denying it. That was insane, dude. They squared up and everything. I, I, I heard him snapping too, but it did nothing. The snaps did nothing, not gonna lie. Holy crap, that was nuts, bro. Kaiju, you're a beast. You're a beast. Dude, my guy literally went boom, boom, boom. Kaiju followed him the entire time. He was on him the entire time. That was just absolutely insane. That was the most impressive hunt I've ever seen before in my life, honestly. Bro, mantis shrimps are so cool, bro. I love you so much, Kaiju. I love you so much. You've been such a good boy lately. I was literally sitting here waiting for like 10 minutes, like like almost 15 minutes, and nothing was happening. And then finally the pistol shrimp moved this way. It's like they had a little standoff, and then they were just like... All right, we're going, boom, and then they just darted. Whew, that was insane. I don't know, what do you guys think? Was the pistol shrimp too small? I think that fight was pretty unanimous. Not gonna lie, not even close. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Again, I go live every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I usually feed the boys live. It's really cool, it's really fun. I hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys, I appreciate you all, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.